Four orbital maneuvering and attitude control thrusters on Starliner's service module are now firing, slowing Starliner down as the capsule begins its journey back to Earth. This will take about 59 seconds to complete. We're hearing uh, good, all good, uh, all thrusters firing well so far. You can see here those, uh, those representation of those thrusters firing. Starliner is maintaining its attitude and as those large orbital maneuvering thrusters are firing, smaller reaction control system thrusters are also working, keeping the spacecraft in the correct position for the burn. Still looking good. And we did see the uh, Dorbert burn cut off successfully. Teams here on the ground reporting a good burn. Starliner is now on its way to White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. Team here on the ground reporting that uh, Starliner is in a good attitude, pointing the right direction for the service module separation. And the service module has just jettisoned, separated, and is now falling away. It will burn up during reentry over a remote part of the Pacific Ocean. And Starliner will continue on its path to New Mexico, where the landing and recovery team is waiting for touchdown. Starliner is now angling itself and its heat shield for reentry. This uh, is a live view from the International Space Station where we're able to get a view of uh, Starliner's track as it comes in. We are now uh, less than 10 minutes away from landing at White Sands Space Harbor, scheduled for uh, 10 or 11 p.m. Central. We're also uh, getting reports that the WB-57 is also able to see Starliner now as it begins coming in for its uh, for its landing. We've still got just about a minute left to go before Starliner comes out of its uh, blackout period. And this is the view from the WB-57, one of uh, NASA's aircraft that is uh, at the uh, landing site has been uh, been uh, staged and ready to pick a Starliner or uh, pick up the view of Starliner as it comes in, and that is what we are seeing now. All right, and that action you're seeing on your screen, forward heat shield and drogues out. Really interesting view of this uh, coming down from the WB-57. See those two drogue parachutes uh, now deployed. They slow the uh, vehicle down initially until it gets to a, uh, a safe uh, speed for the enormous main parachutes to, to follow. About four minutes to go until touchdown. Now back to a view from the Cessna aircraft in the uh, vicinity of the landing site. Again, this is a, a view from a little lower than the WB-57 we were seeing. The next thing we're going to see here is the three main parachutes come out and everything will happen pretty quickly from that point on. After those mains are out, we'll see the uh, bottom heat shield that has been protecting uh, Starliner through its journey through the atmosphere come off. That makes way for the landing airbags to deploy. 
And there's the main parachutes there on your screen. We see three out, currently reefing. And the teams at the uh, landing uh, recovery teams report that they heard uh, the booms as those came out. Three good mains fully open there. You can see Starliner in a slight tilt, so we're going to see the rotation handle move here shortly, and it will level out Starliner. But three good parachutes looking great. Just a little over two minutes until the expected landing time, and we heard the rotational handle has been released, so you can see that uh, tilt evened out. Next up is the back heat shield jettison. And there it goes. That again makes way for the airbag inflation. Nice to see that. You can see the airbags deploying there on your screen. Those airbags are filled with nitrogen as they guide Starliner safely back to the desert floor. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. That landing coming at 11.01 and 35 seconds Central Time, 10.01 and 31 seconds Mountain Time at White Sands Space Harbor at the U.S. Army's Missile Range in New Mexico. Our landing and recovery teams will now wait for clearance before making their way to the spacecraft. One of the changes uh, required with no crew on board is that the team here in the flight control room will be the ones to uh, command the uh, parachute uh, to be cut away so that uh, the wind doesn't pull the capsule along. But uh, that's no problem for them. So uh, now with, the, with Starliner down, they can begin working on some of the post-landing to-do items. Again, uh, we saw Starliner touchdown at 11.01 .01 p.m. Central Time. That's uh, one minute after midnight Eastern Time or 10.01 .01 p.m. Central at the landing site in New Mexico.